Hello, the Visual ACCs. This is Vishnu Vijay, proud win drama, and your lecturer for the performance management paper. So, folks, in this session, we will be practicing a past paper question within the CBE environment. Now, what exactly will we be discussing? Well, we'll be discussing about a lot of exam techniques and presentation aspects that you have to keep in mind when tackling a question within the CBE environment as well. Okay, folks. However, before we deep dive into it, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more informative videos. Okay, folks. Now, let's deep dive in, shall we? So what exactly is the question that we're dealing with here? Let's take a look. So this is basically taken from the performance management September, December 2020 exam. And what is the first thing that we have to do in this particular question? Obviously, read the requirements, isn't it? Just like what we do in a normal uh, question of PM. Okay, folks, so keep this in mind. Now, what exactly is the requirement all about? Let's take a look at that. We have three requirements here. And the first one says, we have to calculate both the number of customers health nuts needs to break even and the margin of safety as a percentage of the month of June for the gym and the cafe. Okay, so we will only be able to understand what these are by reading the scenario, isn't it? So just to give, get a brief idea as to what, what exactly do we have to do here? We have to calculate the margin of safety and break even point, isn't it? So burn that in your head first of all. And what else? Explain what each of your calculation in A tells health nuts about the performance of the gym and cafe. This is yet again, uh, basically a three mark question, but we have to explain something, isn't it? So keep this in mind, okay, folks? When it comes to the performance management exam question, it doesn't only have a calculation aspect to it, it also has a theoretical aspect to it as well, okay, folks? You will have to interpret as to what each numbers say. In this particular question, you will have to interpret as to what the break-even point indicates, as well as to what the margin of safety indicates, exact from. Okay, folks, so keep this in mind. So that's basically this particular requirement. Moving on to the next one, which is basically something that's related to the same scenario itself. Calculate the budgeted total weighted average contribution by sales ratio and budgeted profit per month for health nuts if it closes the cafe and opens a cliche instead. The main point here is to calculate the budgeted total weighted average contribution per sales ratio. Okay, so we will have to calculate the contribution and then the sales and then the CS ratio as simple as that. And this is again for six marks. Okay, folks, so keep this in mind. Now, what is the next step then? We've understood the scenario. We know what should be calculated. Then we move on to the next step, which is to read the scenario, isn't it? So let's take a look at the scenario now, shall we? Health Nuts is a fitness center offering pay-as-you-go gym facility. Okay, that's understandable. It has a fully fitted gym with the capacity to accommodate 200 users at one time. It also has 100 car parking spaces and an on-site cafe, both of which are only for customers using the gym. So that's basically their business model, isn't it? We're just understanding as to what the organization is. The fitness center has shower facilities for customers and his health nut provides all customers with a clean towel to use on entry. It is open 360 days a year from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. And what else? Customers pay $8.4 to access to the gym for one hour plus unlimited time in the cafe. Okay. If customers want to use the park, car park, they have to pay an additional $1 per visit and 80% of visiting customers use the car park. Understandable. Health Nuts has been monitoring the number of customers attending throughout the day throughout each day for the month of June, which was considered to be an average month, and for which Hell Nuts was open for 30 days. It has determined that average number of customers per day is 330, with 40 of these customers attending during the time of 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. The total cost of the fitness center for June, excluding the cafe, have also been recorded 
and analyzed as follows. So we have variable cost per unit or per customer for $1.2 and fixed cost per month of $48,000 as well. Okay, that can come in handy in the calculation, isn't it? What else? On average, half of the customers also use the cafe in June with an average spend per customer of $2.2. Okay. Of the spend, 60% related to drinks, which have a profit margin of 60%, and the remainder relating to food items, which have a profit margin of 40%. The specific fixed costs associated with running the cafe are $3,600 for the month. That's yet again another understandable thing, isn't it? So that's basically as to what the scenario is. And of course, then there is the cliche propo proposal for the second requirement as well. So what exactly is this? Let's take a look. After reviewing all of the above information, the manager of Health Nuts has put together a proposal to close the cafe at the fitness center and convert it into a Appreciate for children. Okay, so it's kind of like a children spark kind of thing, isn't it? So this would mean that parents could leave their children in the creche whilst they use the fitness center between the hours of 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. only, which is a good arrangement, isn't it? What else? The charge for the creche would be $4 per child per hour. Okay. Initial research suggests that customers have an average of two children each. Okay. The cliche is expected to attract new customers and increase the average number of customers between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. by 300%. Okay, that's a great idea, isn't it? What else? Only these new customers will use the facilities and car park usage is expected to continue to be 80%. Okay. The fixed cost associated with running the cliche are estimated to be $8,000 per month with a variable cost of 0.5 dollar per child per hour okay so that's basically as to what the scenario is all about and we have all the relevant numbers available to make the calculation isn't it so let's just make the calculation shall we because we have the numbers we have all the details that is necessary to calculate the break-even point as well as the margin of safety so, so just first of all let's just do that okay folks now we have three marks available for calculating it for gem and two marks for cafe and then three marks for commenting on this calculation as well, isn't it? So let's just take a look at the answer now, shall we? So in order to present my answer in a wonderful manner, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll up to the top. There we go and provide a heading. First of all, okay, folks, I'm just going to state that it's going to be a calculation of break even and margin of safety so i've provided a heading here and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to provide a subheading because i'm just going to calculate the break even and margin of safety for gem first of all isn't it and then move on to cafe so i'm just going to bold these there we go now first of all let's calculate the things for gem shall we so when it comes to gym, or when it comes to the objective here, that is to calculate the break-even, what all are the information that we require? Well, when we're talking about the break-even point, we would need the fixed cost, that's one thing. And of course, the contribution per unit as well, isn't it? So basically, we have to calculate all of them. Okay, folks, so let's take a look at as to how to do that, shall we? I'm just going to provide a small heading here called particulars. There we go. And then... From the scenario, I was able to identify as to what the sales per customer would be, isn't it? How much is that? If I scroll over here, it's basically stated somewhere around over this particular area, isn't it? It was stated that the customers pay 8.4 to access the gym for one hour. Okay, so how much is the uh, revenue then? Let's calculate that, shall we? So sales per customer would be 8.4, that's for sure. And more than about that, we have one more thing. So what exactly is that? It was stated that one additional dollar will also be paid for par car parking facilities as well, isn't it? However, we know that only 80% of the customers use the car parking. Therefore, as, uh, the, the particular calculation would go like this. One 
times 80 percent isn't it as simple as that okay folks it will be 0.8 as simple as that so 8.4 plus uh one times 80 percent would be the sales per customer isn't it so that's basically as to what we've understood so it will be 9.2 okay so we've calculated the sales per customer what else is required the variable cost isn't it is the variable cost per customer provided to us yes it is isn't it so we have the variable cost of 1.2 that effectively provides us with the contribution per unit as well isn't it how much is the contribution per unit it's basically the sales per customer minus the variable cost per customer isn't it so eight dollar per customer that's basically the contribution per well i wouldn't call it unit so i'm just gonna take it uh, call it customers okay folks there we go clear this and see customers as simple as that now what else is the deep what else would be required to calculate the break-even point we would definitely need the fixed cost isn't it and is that provided yes most definitely okay folks we do have the fixed cost per month as well and remember guys we just have to calculate this for the month of june okay folks so fixed cost per month of forty-eight thousand is the fixed cost that we need isn't it so i'm just going to type it in fixed cost of 48,000 that effectively means that the break even would be 48,000 divided by 8. 6,000. Okay, folks. So 6,000 is basically the break even point, isn't it? And of course, a really important point that you have to keep in mind is that you have to provide the units as well. Okay, folks break even in customers isn't it so that's basically it okay folks so we need at least six thousand customers to achieve break even and any more would mean that we are making a profit isn't it so that's basically the idea here now moving on to the next aspect margin of safety isn't it that's basically what we are calculating next now in order to calculate that we need the budgeted sales as well isn't it so how do you calculate that? Let's take about let's talk about that, shall we? So we would need the budgeted sales for the month of June. How much is that exactly? Well, you know, to understand that, what we, we will need is we will need the total number of customers, first of all, isn't it? So what exactly are the total number of customers for the month of June? That is what we have to calculate here. And we do have the sufficient amount of details to do that calculation as well. Okay, folks. So let's take a look at that, shall we? It was stated that we have a total number of customers per day of around 330 isn't it that's what it's stated here an average number of customer per day is 330 and of course how many months was it open for number of days in or i would say number of working days in june would be 30 isn't it health nuts was open for 30 days as simple as that that effectively means that the total number of customers per month would be why well, I wouldn't have to write would be there, isn't it? There we go. <clears throat> and a slight spell check. That does it. This is basically 330 times 30. So 9,900 is the total number of customers. Okay, folks, per month or in the month of June. So now we can easily calculate the margin of safety now, isn't it? So how do you calculate that? I'm just going to state margin of safety. What is the equation? Of course, to calculate this, you need to know the equation, isn't it? So what would the equation be? The equation would be the budgeted number of customers minus the break-even point divided by the budgeted number of customers, isn't it? So that's basically the idea here. So I'm just going to apply the same equation. There we go. And the budgeted number of customers over here and the break-even. And I divide it yet again with the budgeted number. 
as simple as that. And I'm just going to format it into a percentage. Okay, folks, as simple as that. So I will get the margin of safety as 39.39, as simple as that. Okay, folks, this is how you do the first aspect of this particular question. And you will get a total of three marks for doing this. Okay, folks, that's basically it. Now, moving on to the next aspect. And I'm talking about the cafes, isn't it? So I'm just going to type it in. There we go. Two cafe. So, first of all, what do we have to calculate? The break-even point, isn't it? So how much is that? Well, we basically have to scroll down here and there we go. We have the details in relation to cafe provided over here, isn't it? So the following information is provided. First of all, half of the customers used the cafe, isn't it? So half of the customers who use the gym has used the cafe. So we have the total number of customers provided to us. And how much is this? This would be the total number of customer per month divided by two, as simple as that. It was also stated that the average spend per customer was $2.2, which is basically most obviously the variable cost, isn't it? And what else? Of the spend, 60% related to drinks, which have a profit margin of 60%, and the remainder related to food, which has a profit margin of 40%. Okay, so now let's deal with this, shall we? So what we're trying to calculate here would be the profit per unit or in other words the contribution in other words isn't it so that's basically as to what we're trying to calculate here so what exactly is the sales okay folks 2.2 is not the variable cost here sorry folks uh it's basically the sales received by the cafe isn't it so we will get a sales of 2.2 per customer and out of these 60 percent relates to drinks and uh 40 percent relates to the food items as well isn't it so now let's calculate this, shall we? This seems to be a really interesting calculation, isn't it? So I can say that we have drinks as well as food items or just food, that's enough. So for drinks, we know that we will get around 2.20 per customer, isn't it? And remember guys, these are all variable. Okay, 2.2 is actually variable here because we are not considering any sort of fixed cost element into this particular amount. Okay, folks, keep this in mind. So 2.2 times 60%. Okay, folks, 60% relates to drinks, isn't it? And out of this 60% or out of this particular amount, 60% is basically the profit margin, isn't it? So I'm just gonna multiply yet again with another 60%. Okay, folks, that's basically how you calculate the contribution per unit here okay folks for drinks how much is that 0.792 okay that's understandable moving on to the next one we have yet again 2.20 and out of this 2.20 we know that uh 40 percent relates to food items isn't it and we yet again have a profit margin of 40% as well. So I'm just going to multiply that as well. And that'll get me 0.352. Okay, folks. So that gives me a total of equal to sum 1.144, isn't it? So this would basically be the contribution per customer. As simple as that. Just going to highlight this. Now, what else is needed? The fixed cost, isn't it? What, how much is that? The fixed cost would be, for the month, would be 3600. And where did I get this 3600? It's basically stated over here, isn't it? As simple as that. And that gives me the break-even point of fixed cost divided by contribution per unit. That is basically, I'm just going to round this off to some decimal places here, or rather I'll just use the whole numbers here, isn't it? So 3,147 customers is basically the break-even point. Anything more than this would basically be a profit, isn't it? So remember that. Now moving on to the margin of safety. Okay, so what exactly, or how exactly can we calculate that? We need the budgeted number of customers as well, isn't it? And how much is that? Well, we've already calculated that, isn't it? It's basically 
the half of customers, 4,950. So all I have to do is I just have to apply the equation here. I'm just gonna say margin of safety. And what is the equation? We have the total number of customers minus break-even point divided by, yet again, the total number of customers or the budgeted number of customers that we're expecting. And of course, I convert it into a percentage, as simple as that, and I'll get 36.43% as the margin of safety, as simple as that. Okay, this is how you can uh, calculate the particular your particular answer. And remember, guys, always provide the headings and subheadings so that you can structure your answer in a bit more better sense. And of course, for all the relevant uh, calculations that you've done in each of these line items, for example, I've calculated the uh, let's say break even custom break even point, the margin of safety, as well as contribution per unit. So for all these calculations, I'm just bolding this just to highlight that we've done some calculations here. Okay, books. That's basically something that we can do as well. So. Have you scored the full marks available here? The full five marks have been scored by doing this calculation, isn't it? So now moving on to the next aspect, that is part B. In part B, what do you have to do? You have to explain what each of your calculation tells Elsnut about the performance of gym and cafe. And this is for three marks, isn't it? So let's talk about that, shall we? Now, what exactly will we advise them? I'm just gonna say B over here. And since I'm only providing like two points here, I don't necessarily have to provide a heading. I'm just gonna write these as my answers. So what exactly are these comments? Let's take a look. The gym would need 6,000 customers and the cafe would need 3,147 customers in order to cover all of it, all of their fixed costs. Is that a true statement? Most definitely yes, isn't it? What else? The margin of safety indicates that Hell Nuts would recover all of their fixed costs even if the number of customers decrease by one third of the budgeted customers uh, of this particular organization, isn't it? So if the budgeted customers reduces by one third of, of, of the particular proportion, then will we incur a loss? No, not really, isn't it? Because the margin of safety is at around 30% or so. Okay, what we're trying to do here is we're just interpreting the numbers so that the examiner can understand that we actually know what the numbers mean. That's basically it. Okay, folks, well, uh, can we provide any other additional points? Well, maybe we can also see that this organization should increase their customers over and beyond the break-even point since this particular activity can increase their profits and contributions as well as that's basically it okay books add some comments add some recommendations so that you get some additional marks as simple as that so that is how you tackle this particular question moving on to the next one which is basically to calculate the budgeted total average contribution per sales ratio okay folks so we have to calculate the average uh, cs ratio here okay folks so keep this in uh, mind and this is based on the Krishi proposal as well. Okay, folks, so keep this in mind. Now, how do you calculate this? Let's take a look at that. So I'm just going to expand this a little bit. There we go. And yet again, I provide a heading over here. C, calculation of budgeted. Or you know what? I can just copy paste this as well, isn't it? So I'm just going to con control C, these particular aspect. And of course, yeah, we also have the budgeted profit per month for Hazel Health Nuts as well, isn't it? So I'm just gonna copy this and paste it over here. And then change this to calculation of the budgeted. And there we go, we have a heading. Now, let's calculate each of these aspects one by one, shall we? The first thing that I have to calculate here is basically the weighted average contribution per sales ratio. This is the first thing that I'm calculating here. Let's calculate the total number of customers, shall we? So what exactly would the total number of customers per month be? We know that currently we have like 330 customers coming up. And if we introduce the cliche proposal, okay folks, if we open a cliche instead of a cafe, what would happen? That's basically the question, isn't it? If that happens, what exactly would the impact be? 
and it was specifically stated that if we introduce this particular crazy proposal then the average number of customers between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. would increase by 300 percent isn't it if that is the case then how much would the new number of customers be now this is a tricky question right here okay folks why exactly is that because most people what they do is they would calculate the uh, increase by calculating 330 times 300 percent okay folks however is this the right method to calculate this no not really why exactly is that because there is always a possibility that we may miss out on one particular point which states that the particular customers of gym is basically uh, you know 330 that was stated already however out of these 330 40 of these customers attending during the time of 9 a.m to 5 p.m isn't it so only 40 people are attending or 40 customers are attending the gym during that particular time piece which effectively means that if we introduce the cliche proposal then this 40 people will increase by 300 percent that's basically the meaning of it isn't it so that is a key point that a lot of students missed out on this particular question okay folks i'm just gonna be calculated there we go 40 times 330 and how much would that be that would be 450 okay folks as simple as that and now what's the next step we know that uh, as to what the number of working days are, right? isn't it? So let's calculate that number of working days. There we go. And this would be 450 times 30. Sorry, uh, 30 is over here. And of course, what is the total number of customers? Let's calculate that, shall we? Total number of customers. for one month okay folks or per month as simple as that how much would this be this would be 450 times 30 isn't it that would be 13500 as simple as that and of course remember guys this is basically per day isn't it so keep that in mind as well okay folks so this is how you calculate the total number of customer per month however is that the requirement no no really isn't it so what ex what exactly is the next information that we need we would need the sales per customer and there is no information indicating that there would be a change or impact in the sales price or anything like that so that would be 9.2 okay folks like what we've calculated in the previous requirement so the total sales of gem would be 13,500 times 9.2, isn't it? That is 124,200. So this would be the total sales. And of course, we also know the contribution per customer as well, isn't it? What is the contribution per customer? This would be eight, like we've taken a look at earlier. And of course, the total, I'm just gonna copy this just to you know save time. So the total instead of sales i'm just going to type in contribution there we go total contribution would be 13500 times 8 which is 108000 isn't it so this is basically the contribution and sales of the gym now what exactly would the contribution and sales of the cliche be Okay, folks, we don't have cafe, we are closing down cafe as per the requirement, isn't it? So what exactly would the revenue and contribution from Cliche be? That's very close to what we have to calculate next, okay, folks? So let's calculate that. Now, what all information do we have? We just have to type in the total number customers using... Cliche per day. Okay. Slight error there. Cliche per day. There we go. Now, 
what exactly is this number? This is basically 120 as we calculated earlier, isn't it? Or I can just reference it. That's good, good exam technique. No, not really, isn't it? I haven't stated that separately. So I'm just going to state 120 over here. And what is the total number of working days? That's yet again 30, isn't it? So I can just copy paste this instead of typing it in and wasting time. As simple as that. And that effectively means that the total number of customers per month would be 120 times 30, isn't it? So the cliche would have 3,600 customers. However, is it over? No, not really, isn't it? Because we know that there's an average of two children per customer as well, isn't it? So we have to accommodate that as well, okay, folks? So uh, we are going to take uh, take into account of the uh, concept of two children per customer. Or let's say the number of children per customer. There we go. That would be two, isn't it? So then the total customers is now effectively 3600 times 2, isn't it? That would be 7200, okay, folks? So most students, what they do is they just, you know, end the calculation after calculating the total number of customers per month to be 3600. However, we have to consider all the information that is available to us within the scenario and then think about it uh, for a few seconds and then write your answer, okay, folks? So keep this in mind. Now, what else? We've calculated the total number of customers. What's next? Now we calculate the sales, isn't it? So price per child. How much is that? That's basically stated over here. Price would, per child would be four, isn't it? Four dollar per hour. So we're gonna state four over here. Okay, there we go. So then the sales from Crichet would be 7200 times four, that is 28,800, isn't it? Okay, so what about the contribution per unit then? Contribution per unit would be sales minus variable cost, which is basically the variable cost of 0.5, isn't it? So that basically means that it would be equal to sale uh, price per child minus 0 0.5. As simple as that that would effectively mean that we would get a contribution per unit of 3.5 isn't it so what would the total contribution be then total contribution from cliche would be total number of customers times the contribution per unit isn't it so 25 200 okay so we've calculated the sales and contribution of both Jim and Krishi, isn't it? So what's next? Well, basically we calculate the total sales from Jim and Krishi. And of course the total contribution as well, isn't it? So that's basically it. Let me just quickly type it in, contribution. I'm not wasting time, so I'm just gonna copy paste all these and then, you know, try to achieve efficiency in my answer. All these should be bold because this is a calculation. So I'm just gonna total the sales from Jim. There we go. With the sales from Crichet. And of course, the contribution of Jim with the contribution obtained from Crichet as well. And this would be the total sales and contribution. And that gives us the weighted average CS ratio of, we have contribution over here and I'm dividing it by sales. Okay folks, that's basically it. And to present my answer in a bit more cleaner manner, I'm just gonna format it a little bit. There we go. So 87.06 is basically my weighted average CS ratio, okay folks? However, is the question over? No, not really, isn't it? We have one more thing to calculate and that's basically the budgeted profit per month for Health Nut as well, okay folks? What would that be? Let's calculate that, shall we? So now I'm just gonna provide another heading that is budgeted 
profit for the month of June. As simple as that. So let's take a look at that, shall we? Well, basically, it's basically the total contribution minus fixed cost, isn't it? So we know that the total contribution is basically 13,200 and I could just copy paste this instead of typing it in, isn't it? So that's basically uh, an efficient thing to do. There we go. And what would the fixed cost be? There would be a fixed cost of 8,000 per month from cliche, isn't it? And what about for gem? For gem, this would be 48,000. So effectively, the fixed cost would be 48,000 plus 8,000. That would give us 56,000. And of course, the profit, or in other words, the budgeted profit per month. would be 133,200 minus 56,000. Okay, folks, so that's basically our main answers. Okay, folks, so that is how you score the six marks available over here. It's just a simple calculation, but you have to present it in a fair manner. Okay, folks, so keep this in mind. So that's basically as to what this question is all about. So that's all what I wanted to cover in this particular session. And remember guys, it's all about practicing a lot of questions. Okay, folks, and don't just focus on the calculation aspect of each and every question. You should also understand as to how to interpret these as well. Why exactly is that? Because as you have seen in this particular question itself, the examiner will also test you as to how the particular calculation that you've done, or what is the meaning behind the calculation that you've done? How can that improve the organization, etc. as well? Okay, folks, so remember that. So, that's all for this particular session. And if you have any more questions or queries, feel free to show them in the comment section. Okay, folks, I will be happy to answer each and every one of those. And of course, stay tuned for more informative videos. This is Vishnu Jai signing off for now.